So we all know about crypto. Oh, it went to zero. And we all know about bots. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. But what about a crypto trading bot? What if I told you these crypto trading bots is the one secret that's held you back from taking your trading or investing experience to the next level? When making any type of investment into the market, it's within human nature for us to get emotional. When the market goes up, people get greedy and they want more and more and more. What if I even told you that these bots can do things better, more effectively, and save you from making the mistakes 90% of regular people like you and I tend to make and potentially make you more money than you ever could have? So about a few weeks back, I went ahead and had $10,000 put into my Pionex trading account and I let a simple grid trading bot run for 14 days. And since then, it's made me over percent back in combined profit. And if you want to know how much percentage that is, make sure you watch this video till the end so you can find out. So right here on my screen is going to show you exactly how a grid trading bot works. You can tell from this that the bot is going to know when to buy during the dips and it's going to show you that it will sell at certain points when the market goes up. They say the bot can help you to auto buy low and sell high in a price range. Even when you're sleeping, working, or you're on a holiday, the bot won't stop. This takes those emotions out of the trade, so it allows you to focus on making the money, but it is a tool that can help you do that as well. Now to get started, what I'll be doing is depositing another $5,000 of my own money and give you my complete breakdown on the exact steps so you can get started today. When it comes to Pionex, there's two ways that you can have access to the platform. Right here is my Pionex app on my cell phone, or you can go ahead and use the desktop, which I have on my laptop right in front of me as well. First of all, make sure to sign up for an account and go through the basic KYC process. This is just where you enter information to verify it is you. When signing up, don't forget to use the link down below in the description. That that's gonna give you 20% off of all your trading fees as well. Once you go ahead and create that account, first what you wanna do is deposit money into your Pionex account. What I'm gonna do is go into deposit and you can deposit money natively throughout the app or you can go ahead and transfer money that you have in another exchange. So what I'm gonna do here is to transfer some Tether into my account and I'm gonna do about $5,000. So what I'll do is choose the correct blockchain which is gonna be ERC20. I'm then gonna go ahead and copy my USDT ERC20 address just by clicking this. I'm then going to sign into my FTX.US Pro account. Right after that, I'm going to scroll down to the USD Tether right about here, and you'll notice I have about $9,900 in this amount. I'm going to click withdraw. I'm going to press the amount. I'm going to do five grand, and then I'm going to put the USDT address that I got over from Pionex. Now, before you start sending large amounts of money, just in order to verify if this is the right address, what I'm going to do is send just a small amount at first. I can maybe do even $10 just to check it out. I went ahead and got a confirmation from FTX that the transaction was complete and I can see the USDT in my wallet right now. So what I'm gonna do to finish this off is to make another withdrawal of $5,000. We're gonna punch in 5K right here. We're gonna put in that same USDT address. We're gonna save the address. Once I've completed all that, I'm gonna click withdraw. Now we have the money going through. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka. It is boom, taking boom, a bit chicka, of boom, time to deposit. Boom, so slow. Now, with that money fully deposited into my account, let's take a look at some of the features that Pionex has to offer and the ones that I'll be talking to you about in this video. So on the top left-hand corner of your screen, you're going to go ahead and see Trade, Market, Earn, and then the Support tab. Support tab is generally pretty straightforward. If you need help with customer service, you need access to tutorials, or you even want to engage with the community, you can find links for that right here. So with Within Pionex, you have the Earn program, which is structured very similarly to other exchanges where you can find yourself earning APR on your investment. If we go into the market tab right here, you'll notice that we have PIX, Bitcoin, Ethereum, USD, Tether, and alongside here, you can see a lot of the other cryptocurrencies where you can buy it on spot, or if you wanted to use leverage, you could in order to make a trade. With Pionex, I don't use any of the other features other than the trade feature right here, which is gonna utilize what we're talking about in this video, which is gonna be the trading bot. Here on the left, you'll notice your traditional order books on what's going in and what's going out. Very similar to many exchanges, green is going to be anything positive and red is going to be underneath the current price. So if you didn't want to use the trading bot, you can still enter a manual entry within the crypto price. So I could buy, sell, or even swap different cryptocurrencies all right here. If I were to use the trading bot, I know a lot of this can look 
kind of intimidating at first, but a lot of this is actually very straightforward. We have grid trading bot, we have the Martingale bot, we have the spot futures arbitrage bot, and we have the rebalancing bot. If you actually hover your mouse over each one of them, it'll tell you what type of market conditions are more fitting for this circumstance. If I want to enter a grid trading bot position, it'll tell you that the most fitting market is going to be sideways or bullish. If I want to enter a Martingale bot, it works best if you're trying to dollar cost average and it works better in a more bullish market. Or if I wanted to have a rebalancing of my portfolio or even create my own index of different altcoins, this would still work better in a more bullish market. Underneath that, you'll notice the word Bitcoin moon and Ethereum moon. Uh, these are for long term holds and they're actually going to be talking about these 500 grid levels. So a lot of this, I know you're probably thinking like, wow, grids, this and that. It's so intimidating. I'll break down everything underneath a lot of that. I don't even touch this right now, but it's going to be the advanced grid trading bots. I personally don't like using leverage for my trades. Uh, I tend to just use cash on hand and take the safer, slower approach. Uh, on top of that, you have the margin grid, the reverse grid and the leverage reverse grid. So a lot of these are going to be tools on if you were very bearish about the market and you wanted to take more short positions, you could actually do that in addition to using grid trading bots as well. For the sake of this video and for what I've used in my experience, it's going to be the grid trading bot and I'm going to be going through exactly how it works and what you need to know. So before we continue, let's take a look at how the bot performed. Right now in my Pinex account, I have a total of $11,229. A lot of this profit has been made simply just by having these bots within Bitcoin, Ethereum. And I'm not gonna lie, I went a little crazy with ApeCoin. I put $5,000 in there, but let's see the results. I have ApeCoin here at 5,000 USDT. Even though today went down in profit, it so far has made me $400 since I started. Now this bot is isn't that old? If I click on the details, you'll actually be able to see all of my parameters. As you can see, I went ahead and created this bot four days ago. And, and within that, I made an 8% profit. I had Ethereum, which has now been running for two weeks within this crypto trading bot. It is up about $545 off a $2,000 investment, up about 27%. And on top of that, Bitcoin, it's up about 14% uh, or a $284 profit. This isn't bad. And crypto bots is something that was intimidating to me at first. It did take me a little bit of practice and there is a learning curve, but we can make it easy and I'm gonna show you exactly how we can do that today. So for me personally, I have actually went ahead and tested three different strategies. And I'll be real, I was very skeptical about any type of trading tool or bot that told me I can make more money or it's gonna help me save my time. So if I wanted to get started with the crypto trading bot today within Pinex, you'll notice that there's AI strategy and manual settings. The AI strategy is actually showing that in the last seven days for their back testing, they've earned about 115% return on the Bitcoin and USD Tether pair. Going back into markets, you can actually, find many different altcoins to use the trading bots for, but I personally tend to stick with Bitcoin and Ethereum. All I did was make sure I did a little bit of work in setting up those grid trading bots properly. And since then, it's been doing everything for me. Now, just to test out a new theory of how Pinex would perform, I also tested this on the Ape token. And with Ape token having a bit more volatility and not having that huge upside that we've seen that many other cryptos have been experiencing within the past few weeks, it looks like the bot hasn't been performing as well. So opening up the parameter section within these cryptocurrencies to show you the difference on what made it so profitable compared to the Ape token is this. With Ape token, I went ahead and did the AI grid trading parameter, meaning this is all based on the computer. When it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum, based on the grids that I set, which was a 200 level, and I'll show you exactly what that means in a few moments. With this, I also had a lower limit of $1,000 and a higher limit of $10,000. For Bitcoin, I set a lower limit of $15,000 and a higher limit of $150,000. And with having such high highs and low lows, this shows that even if Bitcoin were to ever reach these levels, which it won't, it'll still make sure that it's continuously trading. It'll also give us an idea on the profit per grid, which is anywhere from 0.35% all the way to 4.42%. If I click on this tab right here, release profit, and I click right here, I can actually release the profit that this bot has made and I can realize those gains. If I want to see more information on what the bot is actually doing in terms of those buys and sells. I have all of the data right here as well. It'll tell me exactly when the bot buys a position. It bought right here on the first trade at $38,761. Then it sold at $39,422. It bought again on the low dip and then it sold 
again when it went higher. And that is exactly how easily the bot works and how well it performs. Going back into the price of Bitcoin, even if we pull it into the last four hour chart, there are always going to be opportunities to enter positions. Now with the bot always conserving that USD tether, knowing when to enter those positions, it takes out the emotional aspect of what we would do as investors. If the market's going down, I'd be like, okay, now I want to sell. But the bot is going to keep it emotionless and it's going to know exactly what those parameters are. To give you a better idea, what I'm going to do is press this and it's going to show those buy and sell price levels. The red line is where it's going to sell. The green line is where it's going to be buying. If I went ahead and had much less grids, if I had about two grids and I had such a wide parameter of my bot being from, you know, let's say $25,000 of Bitcoin or all the way to the upside of $50,000, it means it's going to have two lines. And ideally, those lines are going to be the selling point of near $50,000 and the buying point of $25,000. If I go into the place orders tab, you'll also notice where the bot is making those purchases and where it's intending to sell. Right next to it, it'll give us a percentage of the gains or losses that it may make. So far in the last 16 days, my current parameters that I set up for this bot is at 44 different types of entries. So going back into how you can get started today, once you do have money deposited into the app, it's all about making sure you do have those right parameters. Here is what we'll do. I'll literally go through exactly some of the parameters that I'm trying to set right now. So if I had about $1,000 invested, there's a few ways I could approach this. I could set up 10 different bots all at $100 uh, using different type of parameters to maximize those gains, or I can have one bot that has more of a larger amount. So with that $5,000 I invested today, I can actually change the percentage of how much that'll be. In max, I have about $6,000 in total in this portfolio. On a bit more of a red day like this in the market, I want to start choosing another bot that I can double down with Ethereum. The reason for this is just based on my experience. Ethereum is taking a bit more of a tumble. And with that, I may be able to see some more opportunity. To create similar parameters of what I even did, I'm gonna have the grid trading bot and I'm gonna do a very similar strategy. So to get started, I'm gonna go over into manual settings and choose my own parameters. Because my mindset as an investor is a long-term hodler and I don't really like the short-term volatility swings, I do wanna play a much longer approach. So with this, I'm gonna set a lower, lower limit. With Ethereum, let's put this at 1500 and then very similar to what I did previously, uh, let's do this at five thousand dollars for the upper limit for the grids i'm gonna put 200 again and for my total investment we're gonna bump it back up to five thousand dollars usdt once you have the right parameter set all you have to do is just press create verify the information this is the split it's gonna be 57 percent ethereum and then 42 percent usd tether once i press continue the bot is created if i refresh the page i should also go ahead and see it being created as well now as soon as the bot is made you can't expect to see profit coming in initially off the bat. It will take time. There will be dips in the market and there will be days where it's profitable. But if you are using this as a long-term tool, you should be able to see consistent gains, especially if the market continues to consolidate within a small range. Going into the details of this bot, if I go into the placed orders, you can see details of what it is currently doing. I could also see transactions if it's trying to make any fills. I can go back into the parameter details and I could also release my profit at any time. So just as I started this bot, it was negative. Now it's turning green. Now it's back in the red. I could stare at this all day and see what is going on here. But for me, I'm just taking the long-term approach. I check in onto Pinex maybe one or two times a day max. But the whole point of a trading bot is to make your life easier and for it to do all the work for you. I think only time will tell how this is going to perform. I've only been able to use it for two weeks and I have seen the ups and downs, especially when I'm using it within other altcoins. I think the biggest thing to note when it comes to using a crypto trading bot is that it could be a supplement to what you're already doing with your strategy. As an investor, I tend to use many different aspects of what crypto tends to offer. This is going to be the APY holds. This is going to be those different passive income strategies using different types of tools like NFTs in order to maximize my profits. I think a crypto trading bot just plays into hand of some of the tools that I can use. I don't know if I would ever go 100% in with my entire portfolio on just using bots. I think that's going to be a lot of stress, but I do know once you get the hang of other bots, you can still find the right parameters where one can go super long. Another one can be making those day trades. And at the end of the day, if you are someone who likes to focus on those short-term swings, this will still save you money, time, and could help you make more money as well. With a crypto trading bot, if I was 
to do this, I would say about 80% of my portfolio would still be within my main exchanges and my ordinary strategy. And then 20%, I would still have that conservative play with these type of bots. The main disadvantage of using a crypto trading bot, I would say is just the fact that you're not getting access to every single altcoin on the market. And there definitely is a learning curve within this as well. Simply off the principle of just investing into crypto can be overwhelming for a lot of new beginners. You're looking at charts, you're reading lines, you don't know when to buy or sell, you're hearing about dollar cost averaging for the first time, then implementing a bot within all that could be just a bit too much for any newer investor. But if you are more on the intermediate scale, you've been in crypto for at least a year, maybe a few, then start using these as that tool. It is going to be a tool and tools depend on how you use and leverage it. Now for me, I do plan on making an update video and I do want to have at least $100,000 within Pionex by the end of this year. And I think with that goal set, I can definitely see and give you guys more real firsthand data on what I've been doing and the ways that I've been able to find success on this platform. Just by even taking a look at my portfolio when I want to do a test on Ape, you'll notice that even today, it is actually down $400 for this crypto trading bot when I did use the AI parameter. And I do believe maybe if I chose another altcoin, it would be way up as well. You have to know for yourself that the bot is not going to do all the work for you. You still have to make the right decision on what trading pair you want, how much you want your investment to be, and then even the parameters for that grid. For now, if you guys are watching this video all the way till the end, you should at least have a better idea on how to use Pinex, what a crypto trading bot is, what it's not, and also know how to at least get set up with your initial first parameters. Now, crypto trading bots, I think are going to get way more popular over the years. The reason for this is because the more people that get educated on traditional ways to invest into the market, the more they're going to be attracted to the tools that allow them to save that time. The reason I decided to choose Pionex over anything that exists on the market right now is because they're the first crypto company with built-in trading bots to get a license in the US. Diving deep into Pionex, you can also take a look at their credentials and other security measures that they went ahead and did in order to make sure that it's operating safely for us users. Now, even most recently, we had talks about Ronin getting a huge hack involving Axie Infinity, which resulted in about a half a billion dollar loss. I know that Pionex does a good job and they keep up with their security audits, and this is why I decided to use them and trust them with my money at the moment. All right, so if you guys made it till the very end of this video, don't forget to comment down below the secret phrase word, Autobots, like the usual. Don't forget to drop a like down below on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in crypto content and learning how to make more money. And on top of that, don't forget to check out the links down below in the description for my Instagram, Twitter, and other tools that you can sign up for in order to maximize security or to just earn a bit more profit and money on your investments. With all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.